Big Mark go crazy. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Filipino National Junior Elite Champion, Patrick. Cool, man. Hey, Pat, how'd you do the, uh, this weekend so far? Uh, so on Friday, got a second, my first pro podium, so I'm stoked on that. Nice. Today, Congrats. I got a fourth today. Oh! One spot off the podium, but I'm happy with how I rode. Okay, okay. I mean, uh, you represent the Filipino national team, man. How, how do you feel, uh, I guess, representing a nation and kind of trying to fill some big shoes with you know you know who in, that's in front you know my boy danny yeah you know he don't get a lot of love but and how do you feel i guess uh falling i guess in the in the footsteps or the shadows of somebody that great um uh, in, to be honest history. to be honest i don't really think of it like that i think about it as if Danny paved the way for me and Phil Cycling and PMX to be in the Federation, you know? Yeah. So, trying to fulfill his shoes, that's always a must. And following in his footsteps, that's what I've been doing, you know? So, he put out, he put out a good career with some medals and I hope to either even it out or exceed it, you know? Yeah. And, and that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I, I follow you as far as, you know, you put what, in the Asian games and stuff like that. You know, you're a pretty fast guy, man. And I just see a, a, a bright future ahead, you know. Hopefully, you know, 2024, you'll be in the contention for, you know, the Olympics and making, you know, the Olympic team and, and everything too, because, you know, like you're a fast guy, you're uh, out of Bellflower, California. So, you know, you guys have a reputation for being fast, you know, so. Yeah. It's, 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 it's interesting seeing, you know, the younger guys coming up and watching you guys progress and, and and push the sport forward you know so it's cool that you know you get to represent a nation and that they have you know the backing behind you how how was your results in in bogota for the world, for the world uh, cup? so in bogota my first world cup um it was pretty rough i mean supercross hill is always my favorite but it was super tough being my first world cup and then everybody hungry for olympic points so I got third both days in the LCQ, and they're only taking two riders out of that, so I was pretty heartbroken on my performance there. Okay. Well, how, how, how would you fare the experience as far as, I mean, World Cup, there's it's no chumps, you know, like, yeah. definitely everybody's on that level. So, you know, it's a good taste of, to see where you're at. How would you say you fare upon uh, the competition? Uh, I would say I'm not too far, but there definitely is a lot of work to do. Me and my coach have been back at the drawing board fixing my gauge, you know, working on hidden marks on the jumps, you know, and just trying to put down a perfect lap because in Elite, there's, there's no slackers and you always got to be on your toes. Nice, nice. So, any uh, future plans for Patrick Q? Um, so, Asian Games next year, 2022, it's going to be a big one. Nice. And um, Derby City this this uh, this year, September, so that should be my next race. Okay. And other than that, yeah, Asian, all eyes on Asian games. Okay, so are uh, you doing any Tanger Pro-Ams or anything else special? Or, um, or that's what? if there's any when I'm in the area, because I go to school in Kentucky. Okay. So if there happens to be one close by, then of course I'll okay. I rock the Tanger Pro-Am. Shout out to Richard and TJ for setting up dope event for all the riders. Nice, nice. All right, Pat. Well, shout me out, J J5 uh, BMX. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Fly. Alright. You ready? One, two, three. Shout out to Jay Fly BMX, man. Yes, sir. Let's go.